actually do it in my leopard tortoise, as you can currently see. This is the proper setup I would recommend for a leopard tortoise. So I would perfectly say, so they'd have to have a food bowl. You can use a plastic container, as you can see right there. Just place their food on it. Make sure it's good. Something like this, we use, that's, okay, I don't know. I think it's, I, th I think I'm having to think of his mulch in here somewhere, but Timothy Hay. That's another thing. I'll go into the video about tortoise nutrition, but I think it's, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called mulch or whatever we put in the bottom of there. But you need to have a soft ground so they can burrow and dig. The tourists love to dig. You need to have them a source of water, a source of water bowl they need to crawl into. They don't want, they have to crawl in there somewhere like they Just give them like a thing they can crawl into get some water. Two daylights. You need one for the light. This big one provides the light. The other small one, actually, that provides the heat. So you see they both kind of work together. One provides light for them, one provides heat for them. So that's the, that's the setup you need for a tortoise and you need a night light. Very recommended too. So if you're in a good tortoise room or daylight for light, light for heat, night light provides both. Pretty light setup. And also on the sides, paint the sides. As leopard tortoises, they are not that good with glass. So it's best to be at the glass is painted so they don't confuse it and try and ram into it to escape. So just remember that. For, neck, for when you have a tortoise. And those are some things I would recommend when you have a tortoise. There's, how, there's a simple setup for a leopard tortoise. You can kind of look around, view it. And there, there's how you set up for a leopard.